Now today I'm going to be making up a cake. Now as we we're in the middle of the World Cup, I know I'm a little bit late, but better late than never, we're going to make up a cake themed around the Brazilian 2014 World Cup. So let's go through the ingredients and get it all made up. So for making the cake, I'm just going to go through the ingredients we're going to use. Now I've got 300 grams of plain flour. Now with the flour, you need to sieve that, get a little bit of air in there. 300 grams of caster sugar. Also, buttermilk. Now I haven't actually managed to get all the buttermilk today, but what you would use is 230 grams of buttermilk if it comes out of the pot. If you haven't got that, an equivalent, like I'm gonna to use today, would be 230 milliliters of full fat milk, and also one tablespoon of lemon juice. So you add the lemon juice, give it a quick mix, leave it for 10 or 15 minutes, and you've got a kind of equivalent to buttermilk. Buttermilk's a little bit thicker, but this mixture works perfectly well with this cake mixture. Now I've also got 120 grams of butter. Now with the butter, I've left mine at room temperature, so it's nice and soft, makes it easy to mix up. Two large eggs, crack those, use the whole egg, so two large eggs. Then we've got some cocoa powder. Now I'm gonna use 20 grams of that. One teaspoon, that's a small spoon, used for your cups of tea, of vanilla extract. One teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Now with a bicarbonate of soda, when you put that in, you also want to add one teaspoon of white wine vinegar directly on top because that causes a bit of a reaction, makes the bubbles, makes the cake rise. Now apart from one teaspoon of salt, that's all the ingredients. So that is the ingredients for making up the cake. Now because I didn't have buttermilk, as I said, you can use one tablespoon of lemon juice and you can add that to the milk, full fat milk. And I'm just gonna give that a quick mix around because you really need to leave this for like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. So that's all mixed up now. Now let's clear it all away and let's start making up this cake mixture. So we're gonna mix all the ingredients in the bowl. Now I'm gonna start off with the butter, put that in. Obviously nice soft butter. The caster sugar. Now I've got the milk. Now remember I didn't have buttermilk. I use normal milk with lemon juice and it kind of curdled a little bit. Now I've got the plain flour, which I'm gonna sieve. So put that in. Do it from a little bit of a height. Try and get a little bit of air in there. Do it for a sieve. Also, I've got me cocoa powder, I might as well put that in. And probably about a, a teaspoon of salt. You can obviously measure it out. That's it, that'll do. Vanilla extract. And we've got a couple of eggs. Now, I want to use the whole egg, so just give that a bash. Try not to get any shell in there. That's it. So I'm just gonna mix it up. Just check it's all on. Right, and I'm gonna start off at a low speed. Obviously I've got an electric mixer here. You could do it by hand. Just a bit more work. So just gonna bring that all together. There you go, that'll do. Now next of all, I've got me bicarbonate of soda. So I'm just gonna put that in the middle there. Pop that in. We're also gonna use one teaspoon. So that's roughly about a cap full. Of white wine vinegar. Look at that reaction, lovely. So let's give that a little bit of a mix. So now I've got the cake 
cake mixture, all ready to go, it's all been mixed up. Now it's a good time to switch your oven on, get that preheated. Now what I'm gonna do is bring my baking tin, and I'm gonna put some butter around the inside, then pour the mixture in there, and pop it in the oven. So to get on with this cake, now I've got my cake tin. Now just to show you, this one's got like a false bottom, look. Pops out, makes your life easy, so pop that in. Now size-wise, mine's around about seven inches. Now what I'm gonna do is, I always find a little bit of butter around the inside, really helps to make it so it doesn't stick. So put that round the edge, especially in the corners. So there's my cake tin. Now what I'm gonna do is put that mixture in there. So let's pour this in, look at that. Help it out a little bit. Get it all in there. That's it. I think we're just about done. Could get a little bit more out, but that will do. Now grab it in, give it a squash around. Try and get any air bubbles out there. Ready to go. So I've got a cake mixture all ready to go. Now I'm gonna put it into a preheated oven. Temperature wise, 170 degrees Celsius which is 338 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark three. So put it in for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now I've had the cake cooking for 45 minutes, so let's have a little look. Oh, look at that. Looks a little bit wobbly to me. Now I'm gonna leave that probably for another 10 minutes. So shut the oven, keep it cooking. Now I've been cooking my cake for one hour now I did check it at 45 minutes, see how it was. The time is a little bit wobbly, but this seems not too bad. Now I'm just gonna stick a knife in there because it's always a good way to test it. Pull it out. If it comes out clean, which I think that's pretty clean actually, so I'm gonna take that out of the oven. So mine's been cooking for one hour. Now let's just pull that out, switch the oven off. And I'll go and let it cool down. Now. I'm just initially going to put that on the wire rack, let that cool down slightly because it's a little bit hot to handle. So I would say initially leave it for 10 or 15 minutes and then we can pop the cake out, put it on the wire rack until it's really cooled down. Now I left my cake to cool down for just about 15 minutes. Touch the tin, it's still going to be fairly hot but I can kind of manage that. So let's pull that out of there. Look at that, beautiful cake. Now, I'm gonna kind of separate it if I can from the bottom. If I can, look at that. That is coming off, so I'm gonna be gentle. Just pop that in the wire rack. That's it. You do need to be careful at this point because it is still fairly fragile. So leave that. Now I'm gonna leave that cake until it's cooled right down. Now I've left my cake for a couple of hours and it's cooled right down. Now I'm gonna take it off the wire rack, do be careful, and I'm gonna put mine on this sort of cake base. It's like a cardboard base, little silvery thing, makes it look good. So transfer it onto there and then we're gonna decorate it with some of the icing. Now with the cake, obviously on top, we've got this kind of like uneven sort of surface. Now you can leave it like that or if you want to, you can trim the top off just to make it nice and flat. Now I think I will do that. So just be careful, I'm using a bread knife. And I'm just gonna slice through the top because nobody will know because we're gonna use some icing. So there you go, look at that. I slice through the top and that makes it a little bit flatter. So when you decorate it with the icing, it all looks really nice. So now the cake's all ready to go. Let's move that aside. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get me icing. Now I've got ready, roll, ready to sort of roll icing, so I've got a pack of it there. You can buy it, all ready to go, and what you need to do is just flatten it out. Now with the icing, I'm just gonna cut that open. Now this pack's about one kilo. Now what I'm gonna do is sprinkle the surface with some caster sugar. So I'm just gonna grab that. And that should help to stop it sticking because we need to roll out the icing. So just spread that out. 
I say, I don't think I'll use it all. I think I'll use a good chunk of it. Plonk it in the middle there. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit of that icing over the top and on the rolling pin as well. Because I don't really want it sticking. That's it. Now, let's just roll this out. So I'll carry on until I've got it nice and big. Obviously bigger than the cake because it's got to go over the top. Now I finished rolling mine and you know, got a reasonable thickness on there. Obviously you want to make sure it's big enough to go over the cake. Now, just make sure it's not sticking. That's fine. I'm just gonna gently move it over there and get me cake. Now what we need to do with the cake is to put some sort of jam on there because you need to make the icing stick to the cake. So I'm gonna use a little bit of jam, brush it round, and then we can lay over the icing over the top. Now with the jam, I'm going to use apricot jam. Obviously you could use whatever you like, you know, strawberry, it's your choice. Now I'm going to put some of that into a little pot. Now with the jam, I'm just going to just quickly brush that on top. You just want to put enough on there really. Obviously it will give it a lovely flavour. The apricot would be really nice. Or jam, whatever you're using. But it's also going to help to make sure the icing sticks to it. So again, carry on, do that round the side as well. So now I've got the jam all round the sides. We've got it on that little tray because I'm gonna put the icing on there as well. So you wanna make sure it nicely stuck everywhere. And I think we're ready to put the icing on now. So let's just grab that. I think the way I'll do that is just very gently kind of roll it a little bit onto there. Just lift it up. Pop that on there like that. Now just try and gently push it around the sides there and we can always trim it off afterwards. So don't worry if it's not 100% because we can always cover it up with something, squash it together and make it look good. Now again, let's just go around with a knife and we can kind of trim this. And once you've trimmed it, you can always do a final trim, patch it in if you need to, just to get it how you want it. So just go around. That's it, you can always take a bit of time. I mean, obviously I'm trying to do it as quick as possible because I'm doing a video, but you know, you can spend a lot more time and you're probably a lot better than me. So, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do next, is just pull this aside. And here, yeah, I've got a tray with pretty much most of the teams that are in the World Cup. I apologize if you're not, your team's not in there, but I think we've got most of them. I'll spin it around a little bit. Now in the middle there, again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that apricot jam, not because you're going to taste it, it will just help to stick the other bit to it. So just put that in there like that. That'll do. We don't want it sliding off. Now let's just put it in the middle there. Like that. Now around the edge here, I thought what I could do is put these sort of like, you know, t-shirts representing each country. They're edible, so, you know, I've just chopped them up. Just gonna get a little bit of water, not too much, and just run that round there like that. That's it. And then what we can do is, we'll start with Brazil in the middle there, and just work your way round. Now, I, because it's 32 teams, I'm doing a whole lot, you might have to kind of overlap them slightly but the water should just about get them to stick so I'm going to carry on doing that all the way around with all 32 of them now next of all I've got some more flags you know representing various countries so I'm going to cut those out it's the same sort of thing add a little bit of water and we can pop that around the sides so just going to put a little bit of water 
and the edge there. Now what I think we can do is probably just stick those on like that. Just make sure there's enough water to gently make it stick. Now, I've got quite a few strips of that, so I'm just gonna cut the rest of those out, stick them all the way around the edge. Now for the topping, I've got again, a little bit more of that jam. Use a bit of jam, and I'm just gonna brush that all over the top. Lovely. So let's get me topper. Now, obviously, depending what theme you're doing, you know, you could be doing anything you like, American football, golf, whatever you like, you can usually buy these. Now, I've got a really nice topper here, and it says Original Naked Chef 2014, and it's got Brazil. So that's gonna be my topper. Now, I'm just gonna use a knife, and I should be able to just kind of gently lift it away because this is a made of icing. Now you do have to be very careful, so it helps to do it on a flat surface. So I'm just gonna go around, just enough to lift it up. Just pulling mine away. If we've damaged a little bit, I'm sure we can get around it. I'm being very gentle, just about come off. It's a little bit damaged, but anyway, let's see how we go. Just wanna get it on there first. That's it. So it's just a little bit damaged there, but I'm being very gentle, trying to push it back into shape. And that makes a really nice topper. I'm not an expert at these toppers, I've only used them once before and oh, they are fragile. Right Just go around the edge. Push that down, push it in there like that. Look at that. We've just about repaired that. So I think we're pretty much done. There's only one, or one more thing I wanna do. So what I'm gonna do is use this bit of ribbon. Now, I haven't got any sort of edible glue, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of sellotape to kind of join it. Uh, we just kind of find its way around there. And this will help to cover up any joins so your cake will look delicious and perfect. Well, not quite perfect, but it'll look pretty good. So there we go, got a little bit of ribbon around there. So obviously we could pull that a little bit tighter and I might just put a little bit around the bottom as well and then I think we're pretty much done. So there we go, I've finished my cake, I've got that sort of ribbon going around the edges, covering up the joins, looks really nice. Nice and bright. Now obviously I've chosen the theme of World Cup Brazil 2014 with my topper, I got it sort of, you know, personalised, original Naked Chef, you can get that done quite easily with these people, they print it off for you, and choose the theme you want, maybe it's American football, golf, whatever you want, have a look around, dress your cake up, make it look really good, and whoever's the winner of the World Cup, I'm sure you deserve it, so may the best team win. Thanks for watching my videos, I'll see you on the next one, and if you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe. Now, I'm not actually gonna try this because I've actually promised this cake to somebody. It's a little boy's birthday, so I'm gonna give this to some lucky boy, hopefully, and uh, he'll have a good birthday. See you again soon, the original Naked Chef. Now, even though I finished the video, I did forget I had some footballs here, look, edible, edible footballs. So I'm just gonna put those on to decorate it just a little bit more. Now again, you can just use a little bit of that jam and we can pop that round like that. So I'll just carry on doing that all the way round, take a picture and enjoy.